Virgos, welcome. Doing your heart spread read here. Um, this one's a timeless read. I'm going to do something a little different. Usually I do you and the person on your mind. We do have up from last Wednesday's. Wednesday's, Wednesday's always uh, Leo Virgo Day. Your heart spread like uh, rules that way. And the person you're thinking of, person's in your heart. Here I want to do a heart spread. And by the way, using the ethereal visions, illuminated tarot. You give a darn. Oh, uh, your church bells, Virgo. Look how beautiful. When they're a little distant, especially coming in and out on the wind. Um, so this is kind of looking at you and, you know, your anima, your animus, this uh, Jungian concept of the projected di um, divine masculine, divine feminine energy that can be projected. Um, but I think it's like the, the heart spread I designed to look at the first house and the seventh house. That's one and two cards. Um, so you and your person in this uh, second, the seventh house, number two card, this is already in the heart spread. I kind of see that as a projection of, uh, like we project into the seventh house what we want. I have Pisces in the seventh, relevant for me, in my life. <clears throat> but once we're aware of that, we can kind of take control of um, our projections. And like uh, Jung said himself, everything that's unconscious gets projected and we call it fate. So then we can begin to take control of our lives, I think, and not uh, be at the whims of fate. We are then at the whims of our own choices, so that's a two-edged sword, because <laughs> uh, we can begin to you know, make our own choices of what we want to do, um, what's, what we think is best for us, um, and it may go sometimes against in our first instinct, you know. Um, that's kind of what we're stepping back to take a look here, particularly if you've been having any trouble with love relationships and kind of patterns. That's what we'll be looking for here. So pre-shuffled, this is you. Page of Swords. Um, in this reading, this is you, where you are in and around your own relationship with your higher self, really, and your own projection of this uh, romantic energy for love and relationship. So in this page, is kind of looking back here, too. So it's young energy. Um, it's honest, it's frank, it's a very Virgo in a way. Um, I feel like you're open to guidance, you know, but you sort of, uh, I get the feeling from this Virgo, someone maybe, you don't exactly have a good concrete idea of what you want, how to go about getting it, um, and, but I get the feeling that you might be open to guidance, and here I'm going to hope from your higher self. And we will get three cards of guidance and an eight card spread, okay, for this. Wow. So I think this is your higher self saying, look, just to be clear, Virgo, so I don't know why, like with this energy, it feels like it might be hard to get. Um, this is speaking up for yourself. This is realizing in your own mind that you can get and you do deserve, you know, emotional satisfaction and happiness in and out of relationship. But this is in a relationship, Ten of Cups energy, guys. Look what a beautiful Ten of Cups this is, too. And the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. Mm. So if there was any doubt, that's kind of what you're going for. Is it a sense, too, that it feels you also have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck? So again, this very sincere energy right here. Many cross watchers, uh, this Virgo is sincere. And probably direct with the Page of Swords. Um, it's pretty direct energy here. I could be like a little naive too, I think, with this uh, Page of Swords. Yeah. In your communication way, maybe in the way you receive communication. And you may give off the vibe that you're looking for this Ten of Cups. Which, okay. I mean, I'm looking for the Ten of Cups, you know. Thank you. Uh, I think I got it, but you know, <laughs> looking for that heart of gold. Now this is your energy. Normally I read this as your energy of how you're feeling about your person here in the heart spread. But now this is how you're feeling about your higher self. And there's some reluctance to, um, you're looking for guidance, but it's like you're, you're not taking it. You're kind of being stubborn. And I kind of understand this because guidance, what's that? Like, don't drink, don't drink, don't smoke, don't, you know, guidance can be kind of don't energy. 
Uh, it could be uh, Saturn it limiting and restricting. This could speak to Aries in your chart, though. So keep that in mind, Virgo. We all have Aries in our chart somewhere. We have first house. Also, we have Mars energy. Um, but this is the Emperor. It's like you're having a lot of ego. And so maybe what's going on is your ego's getting into this. You know, ego's not always, hey, look at me, hey, look at me. Ego can mean like maybe you feel like you're not worthy deep down. That's a, an ego function going on. You feel like your ego feels like it's not worthy. Of course you're worthy. Everyone's worthy. Um, and kind of hanging on to that energy, being stubborn about it. This could be two friends saying, you know, you need to, and you're like, yeah, I hear that, you know, kind of energy. King of Cups, my favorite uh, card in this deck. That's kind of Pisces energy too. Keep that in mind. That's in your chart, in your 12th house, and Neptune, somewhere. Um, they, I call it the Jim Morrison from the Doors, King of Cups, because he looks a lot like Jim Morrison to me. He's got the necklace with the fish around his neck, and he just looks very relaxed. Now look, counterpoint here. You, the Emperor, your uh, higher self is kind of saying to you, this is how I want to see you, right? laid back relaxed in your emotions i think there's no emotions over here the emperor the, the page of swords here it's all emotions ten of cups and now the king of cups you're being basically told here drop down into your emotions feel something be open be vulnerable um it's kind of like i feel like you're being told too virgo you can be the king of cups here you can be this person who's emotional because this, I gotta I'll tell you, it feels like this could be emotionally closed, emotionally closed off, you know, and just sort of like going through the motions, you know, going through the motions somehow. Even if you're in a relationship, you're kind of emotionally closed. You're going through the motions. I mean, your person is not very high functioning emotionally themselves, and so they're not even picking it up. That you're just going through the motions, but really, it's saying here you do, it doesn't have to be that way. But you've got to be flexible here and let go of this emperor energy. The star card. Now, again, this is your advice from spirit, our first of three cards. And so this is normally your advice uh, and how to interact with your lover here, the number two position, the one on your mind and your heart. But here, this is advice from spirit, talking about how to interact, some more metaphysical advice with your own higher self in terms of your own projection your own anima animus that you have uh, uh, for your seventh house for the other for what you want and you know this is the hope streams and wishes the manifestation card i kind of told you like you can be this king of cups here and have the ten of cups uh, if you could kind of lighten up out of this emperor energy a little bit and the star card is about our hopes or dreams uh, our highest aspirations um, and it's also about manifestation so I think you know if I could offer you uh, check out the soul family daily collective read to do for whoever resonates it's more of a spiritual reading around manifestation and, and spirituality you might relate to that okay it's like on a journey so I see this here this is manifestation and it's like kind of too saying all of the energy you're using to kind of hold back your emotions to control the emperor wants to control things if you're on a date and wants to control where the date is how long the date is how it goes after uh you you know uh, it could involve some manipulation the other person might well you don't really like to do that and you're like well and you kind of get them to do it um that's what's being let go of and the king of cups just flows and that's the love part. You know, when you start really loving the, the people you're with and on a date with and getting into the groove of, a, you know, I don't think you're going to be this emperor trying to control everything. And maybe you can just manifest this within yourself. <laughs> it's, just, it's just yourself. No, we have control of ourself, arguably. And the moon card. So here comes the moon this is a really tricky one because it's normally advice for the person that's on your mind and how best to deal with you. But being this advice uh, here uh, in terms of your own higher self, your own anima animus projection, 
It got to speak there's something you're not seeing. Let's see if we get any guidance on what that might be. Five of Swords. And you coming in with the Page of Swords. There might be something you and really have to have a conversation. Now, normally I would say this is with your person, but now this is about with yourself. So you really have a, a tough conversation with yourself because there's something you're afraid to deal with that you don't want to see because the moon is not seeing something. Something's being hidden. And something, not, not somebody lying, it's a perfect card for this reading because this is uh, something in yourself that you're not seeing. And it's something around uh, defending yourself. Five of Swords can be vicious, fighting. Maybe you had that in your past. Maybe that's why you're emotionally shut down, guys. Um, but then one of the things you manifest, don't say, I don't want uh, violence and control and uh, manipulation and narcissist uh, personalities. You know, say, you know, I want people who are loving and open and emotionally uh, available and who are my king of cups, ten of cups person here, and uh, come to me with this ten of cups energy. It's high functioning too, very high functioning. Um, and I think that's what it is. And if you've been trying to manifest and been having trouble doing that, you know, and you might actually then manifest people who themselves are kind of struggling with their own issues uh, around uh, maybe not being able to assert themselves, you know, growing up in a home where their opinions were discounted, and they had to, you know, kind of fend for themselves kind of energy, instead of being nurtured and supportive, right? You can just manifest this. This is kind of good, too, on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles is always a positive card. Again, advice. This is advice from Spirit, normally, for the relationship as the whole. Here, it's a relationship advice for your own self for how to best align within your own self now the queen of wands takes action here's the difference between the queen of wands and the emperor now the emperor is fixed and controlling and the queen of wands is going to match there you go with your king of cups you know very charming very open very uh, honest very frank uh, very creative energy um, outgoing energy, uh, fire energy um, in yourself. And this is advice from spirit. So it's like, um, it's not it's not about ego here. Uh, it's almost like saying it would be best for you to express yourself more, uh, be more the life of the party, more. This also has Leo energy. You might speak to Leo in your chart now, in your fifth house. But... Um, and maybe what you went through in childhood, you know, you weren't encouraged to be yourself, uh, to be outgoing, to be outspoken, you know, um, to love yourself in a way that's fun and expressive and feeling flowing and open, right? Wow. And I love this. I love this for an outcome, but I tell you, it's not sexy. But you have this energy, and it really is saying kind of open up here. You want to manifest, you know, start expressing this energy you want. Open yourself up to it. Um, you know, know that there are people out there who are well balanced and who can, you know, meet you without bringing you problems, you know. Um, not disrespecting you. And, you know, of course, you got to respect yourself and have that kind of faith and manifest and just really open up and kind of have fun. Um, and, and when you're the queen, too, it's, a, it's about confidence, you know. It's, it's somehow cultivating this confidence. And then the outcome is you become very well balanced. And this is actually a great outcome for this particular reading. Because now we're looking at the outcome of this, your own relationship with your higher self. And this is putting it into very well aligned alignments. And you're coming in as a page of swords, a kind of young energy, like maybe you haven't been doing the spiritual work long. And here already, this is a really take care of business, following daily routines, doing what has to do, personally taking care of things, taking the helm personally and making things happen. Um, and it's a very good energy to be in, um, to then be in a relationship 
um, because you would be under some really basic control of yourself and your life where there's some, these pinnacles here and balance. It will take time and effort though, but you best, you're, you'll be shifting your energy to controlling and stuff and, and saying no basically to taking actions with the wands and um, opening yourself and interacting with people to try to find this king of cups here which I think is your ultimate self, is uh, what you're looking for, what you want. That's the, something in yourself. Maybe you didn't have a loving uh, mother or father that really cared about you. Maybe you'll get someone coming in who's like a Cancer energy or a Pisces energy, um, who is very loving and caring. Um, and you won't even be, you know, feeling this need to control everything. There's nothing to control. It's all cool. <laughs> So thank you, Burgos. Let me know how you relate to that. Do uh, like, do hit the thumbs up, uh, share, tell a friend, tell a friend, and uh, do subscribe. Thank you, guys.